everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want you to come along with me as I clean and organize our laundry room. I featured our laundry room here on my channel a couple times before, but it has been since basically we built our house like five years, six years ago, oh my gosh, uh, since I actually went inside the cupboards and did like a KonMari style decluttering. So that's what I wanted to do with you today and just kind of give you some very simple organization ideas for your own laundry room. I am what my friend Cass from Clutterbug calls a butterfly type of organizer. I'm going to link to her channel below and somewhere up here. Um, she has such a great way to explain the different types of personalities and the organization styles that suit them. I am very visual and I need simplicity. So I need things very easily accessible and very easy to find and put away because I don't spend a lot of time organizing. So if you are this type of organizer, I hope you like these ideas today. Alright, so let's get started. So here's how our laundry room looked earlier this week. This is so embarrassing you guys, but I just wanted to put it all out there and I'm hoping that this gives you some hope if you have a laundry room situation that is similar. I have three young girls. I have a full time or more than full time job here with YouTube and the blog and my husband works full time as well with his own business and yeah, you know, honestly, lots of times we let things slide and here is a space that I've never really shown on camera before behind the cupboard doors in our laundry room. So honestly, ever since we moved into our home and we had this space, I've just been throwing things in here and I don't really have a rhyme or reason to where things go and I really wanted to change that and that's what I did as I organized our laundry room here in this video. So I just wanted to give you the raw and honest look before in the cupboards on the floors how this countertop is so messy and then just kind of guide you through what I've done and hopefully in that process I will give you some inspiration as to what you can do for your own laundry room space that is easy that's attainable and hopefully inspiring so yeah ugh. so first things first I went ahead and I just started taking everything out of our cupboards in our laundry room. So this is kind of like Marie Kondo style. If you've ever heard of the KonMari method or heard of Marie Kondo, I will leave a link to her books down in the description box below. She basically says to take everything out of your cupboards, uh, your clothing, everything, and just put it in a giant pile and then go through every piece individually one by one and decide if it gives you joy. If it does not, it needs to be discarded, whether that's donated, recycled, whatever. So that's basically the situation here. I just took everything out of the cupboards and I put it all on top of the, the countertop here. Then of course I went ahead and I took some cleaner. I just used a pine saw. I have so much of it because I was given a lot of it from pine saw and I really like it, especially the lavender scent. Went ahead and cleaned out the cupboards. Then I started going through all the items one by one and there were so many things that I had even from when my girls were babies, like all this baby stuff. I went and put it in a bag for, for donation. I ended up with two donation bags from our laundry room alone of just linens and baby things that we don't use anymore. And then I also made a bag of things I wanted to take to my studio. I got rid of like all of the lint and things like that I had collected and just never bothered to uh, throw out. And then yeah, lots of seasonal things and hardware and things like that were for my studio. Then once everything was sorted, I went ahead and put the things that made sense to keep in the laundry room cupboards back into the cupboards. So all of my linens, all of my cleaners, and the really simple household items like light bulbs, vacuum attachments, etc., went back in this closet. I like putting all of my laundry detergents and cleaners up here in these cupboards because the kids can't reach them so it's nice and safe. And then there were still things that were in like their original packaging so I took like laundry or vacuum attachments out of packaging. I love using bins and baskets. You know that I love these all the time so I just organize things into various bins and baskets, light bulbs and household supplies into one. Um, my little screws and things into another little bin and basket. I put some of my vacuum attachments into another basket and then put some of those in the cupboard and then some of them on my pegboard wall and in my uh, tall cupboard, which I will show you later. 
Then I went ahead and folded all of the linens I wanted to keep in here back up. So I have things like extra blankets. I have things like extra sheets and towels and things like that and folded them. I mean, not Marie Kondo style, but as close as I possibly could. If you've read the Marie Kondo books, you know that she has a very specific style of folding. I put all of my cleaners back into the cupboard on the left like this. Like I said, I do have a ton of pine saw and various cleaners, so they're probably gonna last us for a really long time. I put garbage bags back in here as well as empty spray bottles where I could make my own cleaners and put them in here as well, as well as a basket where I could kind of corral some things together. Here's another smaller basket that I put the girls swim goggles into. I have sports equipment in here too and I put it down in the little shelf between the washer and dryer. The shelf between the washer and dryer and our upper cabinets are from Ikea. Then I finally went ahead and washed the top of our counter. This is actually an old door and I just painted it and used it as a countertop. We just attached it on top of our washer and dryer with some brackets. It's holding up pretty well. I wish I would have put maybe more of a polyurethane finish on it. I think I put a wax finish on it um, and the grooves are a little annoying to clean, but other than that, it was a really cheap way for us to get a cute counter in here. I also managed to wipe down the washer and the dryer, which was really nice. I still love this red washer and dryer. I know that red isn't as trendy right now as it used to be maybe about 10 years ago, but when you love something, you love something. And I still love the red in here, especially with the aqua. Then I vacuumed the carpet, which you'll see later I didn't even keep in here. <laughs> and I vacuumed the floor just to get all of that lint and dirt and dust out of the way here in the laundry room. I don't know why I don't vacuum the laundry room floor as much as I should, but I really should. I mean, we use it all the time and I want it to be nice and clean in here so that our clothing is nice and clean. So I went ahead and vacuumed the floor. I mopped the floor as well. I want to show you guys these laundry uh, hampers. So you can actually take the cloth part right off of the wire hanging part and you can throw them directly into the washer and wash them and dry them. You can even bleach them. I've had these for several, several years now. I found them on Amazon. I will link them below and I absolutely adore them for keeping our dirty laundry here in the laundry room. So I hang them up on our pegboard wall, which I DIY'd and I will show you. And they're just such a fantastic addition. I'm, they're easy to move up, down, up and down the stairs. We have one in the girls' bathroom upstairs and seriously, they're so awesome. I sort my whites in one, colors in another, and darks in another one. And I also use this thrifted jar to put some dryer balls inside. I got this from Value Village. Little jars and bins, little jars and baskets and bins. That's what I'm all about when it comes to easy organizing, especially in the laundry room. I'm also adding just some nice cute decorative accents like a faux plant and a candle and I have this antique washboard that I found as well. And then I'm adding this chair back in. This is just a chair I chalk painted uh, just so that I have better access to those top cupboards. I realize one of the reasons I don't organize them enough is that I can't really reach them well. So I brought this chair in here so I could easily access the cupboards better and keep them nice and organized and tidy. So here is how our laundry room looks after that cleaning and organization, and I am so happy with it. Here's our DIY pegboard wall. I will leave a link down below to how we built it. I have that DIY on my blog, but vertical storage is definitely a great way to add some storage to a small space like this. Our laundry room is quite tiny, and getting everything up and off the countertops with vertical storage really, really helps me keep this space clean and tidy now. Here's the inside of the cabinets. I'm so happy with them. They're not picture perfect, but what I like about closed door cabinets is you don't have to make the interiors picture perfect because you don't see the items inside. So if you do have closed doors in your laundry room, that's where everything that you don't want to look at can go. And then everything that you don't mind looking at can go at more on more of an open storage system, like a DIY pegboard wall, for example. Here's all our cleaners and they're nice and neat and tidy and really easy for me to access when I want to use them. Here's the little decorative corner in the laundry room. Again, another basket where I can put little odds and ends. And uh, I also have some little lint buckets on the uh, window here. I found those buckets at Target like, I don't know, seven years ago. Made a little keep the change jar uh, for change and keys and things that I find in pockets. 
and then I have this drying rack I found just at the grocery store. I just stained it and I can pull it out from this pegboard. It's just attached to the pegboard with some hooks on the wall. So handy. I love it. And then I have our broom, our mop and ironing board hung up on the pegboard with some hooks as well. So something like this is again, a really great solution for a small space. And uh, I really love how it works in here. So again, here's a look at our laundry room before I went through and cleaned and organized it and here it is now. I am so happy with how it looks. I love that we have all this built-in organization. So when I want to do a nice big clean and purge, it's nice and easy and it looks so cute afterwards. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of our laundry room and if you have any organization ideas of your own for everybody watching to organize their own laundry rooms over the summer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I have so many more things to share with you guys this season. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave some of my favorite videos right up here for you.